Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, Understanding Safety in Ground Handling Operations on Aircraft Stands. We will continue our discussion on ramp safety aspects of refueling operation. While all the safety precautions are there to prevent something bad from happening, but refueling team as well as other RAM personnel must be adequately trained for when something does go wrong. With respect to ramp safety, a fuel spill is the worst case scenario of refueling operation, and refueling team must know how to handle it. The first thing to do in case of a fuel spillage is of course to stop the refueling process immediately. For this purpose, a dedicated emergency stop button for fuel hydrant pit system is available on the aircraft stand that cuts off the fuel supply from the pit in case of any emergency. Secondly, the fire department must be immediately informed and fire extinguishers on the refuel vehicle and the ramp must be grabbed. All ramp personnel must halt their activities and create their distance from the spill. Only those people trained in handling emergencies, especially the refuel team itself, must approach the spill. All electrical equipment on the ramp must be switched off immediately, especially the 400 Hz electrical ground power unit. Engines of all vehicles on the ramp must be turned off, if possible, without compromising safety, as a staff has to abandon their vehicles to move away from this spill. Activities must resume only when the emergency response team or the fire safety team has given clearance that fuel spill has been cleaned and operations may be resumed. On 5th of September 2001, British Airways Flight 2019 arrived from Gatwick International Airport in England to Denver International Airport in the United States and parked on gate number A37. The refueling team came in with the fuel hydrant dispenser and positioned the vehicle under the left wing of the aircraft. The refuel operator then followed the standard procedure and made connections of the hose from one side with the fuel hydrant pit and on the other side with the aircraft fuel access panel under the wing. At this time, aircraft's maintenance engineer also approached the aircraft stand and stood between the aircraft's left engine and the hydrant truck to tell the refueler how much fuel to be uplifted into the aircraft. The refueler had not gotten off from the refuel truck lift and he leaned towards the maintenance engineer with his back towards the fuel hoses connected under the wing. He also had the dead man switch in his hand. At this time, the maintenance engineer noticed that the fuel hose coupling separated from the fuel access panel in an angled direction, gushing fuel all around. The maintenance engineer immediately yelled at the refuel operator that hose is loose. The maintenance engineer was immediately soaked in fuel and even swallowed some. Suddenly, fire emerged and engulfed the refuel operator who was still in the lift platform. The maintenance engineer, already soaked in fuel, ran towards a fire extinguisher bottle. A second maintenance engineer was also around and felt the heat. When he turned around, he saw that the refuel vehicle was surrounded by fire. He also ran towards the first maintenance engineer to help him in bringing the large fire extinguisher bottle. Meanwhile, another pilot witnessed the incident and asked another person to call the fire department. Fire vehicles immediately reached the spot and extinguished the fire. Aircraft 
and the hydrant truck suffered fire damages. Unfortunately, the 24-year-old refuel operator died of his injuries a few days after the accident. The investigation by National Transportation Safety Board concluded that the probable cause of the accident was incorrect positioning of the fuel hydrant vehicle that applied an angled force on the fuel hose coupling connected under the wing of the aircraft. The same force was responsible for fracturing the adapter ring that led to leak in the pressurized fuel flow. What really ignited the fuel could not be determined. The incident and the unfortunate loss of a life teaches us the criticality of refueling operation. Refueling accidents are most dangerous because they pose risk of fire that not only causes financial loss but loss of life as well. With this, we conclude our discussion. See you in the next lecture.